Hello and welcome everyone to the Difference Maker Show. I am so glad you're here today. I'm Lynn Sanders, your host, and it's our intention to inspire you to tap into your highest potential by learning from thought leaders who are here to help you. Today's topic is something everybody should appreciate. It's attracting more money into your business. And I'm very excited to share with you the credentials of our next guest. Imagine if you had a little genie at your side, someone who could coach you into knowing step-by-step step what you need to do to build your business successfully. Well, now you have one right here. So whether you're listening live or to the replay, I invite you to type in any questions or comments in our comment stream, and Dave will do his best to answer them. So our guest is Dave Philipson, and he's known as the Master Connector. Dave is an international business development expert. He's also a small business consultant, a best-selling author, a speaker, and a global lobbyist for entrepreneurs. That means wherever you are, he is here for you. He is also the vice president of an organization called CEO Space International. It's the largest and oldest education and training organization for entrepreneurs worldwide. And I happen to be a member of that myself. And I'm very grateful I am because there's so many great people in CEO space. Dave has hosted more than 600 meetings for the CEO space people throughout the world. Isn't that amazing? Just shows you the power of your mind. When you want to do something, you can do it. And besides that, this is a very interesting tidbit. Dave Phillipson has been consistently ranked in the top 1% nationally on LinkedIn as a key resource for entrepreneurs and he's been recognized year after year by the Orange County Business Journal as a recipient of their Excellence in Entrepreneurship Award. So I have to say, I'm very grateful to have you here, Dave, your real treasure. And a thank you also, Roland Takaoka, who will be here to monitor the common stream. And now, welcome, Dave Phillipson. Thank you so much. It's been a fun adventure and getting on and, and we're here and live and hello, everybody. Great. Yes. Hello. And we had a little uh, little bit of delay this morning, but I'm glad you're here. So, Dave, I want to start out with a question I ask all my guests. You know, everybody starts somewhere. We don't always start right at the top with millions of dollars right in our bank account. I'd like you to share a little bit of your story, how you got to where you are right now. Thanks. Sure. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago in a faraway place in the Great Lakes, uh, I was raised there, uh, went to college there as well, started early on as an entrepreneur at the age of six. And it was then that I learned that entrepreneurship was very painful. Really? Uh, my family owned a clothing store and uh, it was uh, when my father retired, people like Gerald Ford showed up, Dave Stockman, et cetera. Um, because it was the second oldest family business in the state of Michigan. The job for me as a six-year-old was to uh, sort the hangers. The brown hangers went in the brown box, the green ones went in the green box, etc. cetera. And uh, I, I got paid a quarter an hour. Hmm. And the entrepreneur part kicked in is when I hired my younger brother, who was four years old, at a nickel an hour, <laughs> my job. And I went off and I played in the attic in the basement of the store and I got caught. <laughs> and uh, I learned that it was painful because I couldn't sit down for a while after that. Oh, time. no. Oh, no. Later on, I became an umpire. Uh, for baseball umpire, and I was the youngest collegiate umpire for division, excuse me, division one baseball, and uh, entrepreneurship. And uh, I've been in uh, many businesses. Probably the most successful was my biggest. Bet. I was uh, part of the team that was the very first company. It was myself and a partner. Uh, the very first products for exercise or nutrition we're having a little bit of a sound delay dave could you go back and say what you were saying is 
I think because perhaps you're not plugged into the, the router, we just missed some of what you just said. Could you sure. Uh, that uh, we were the very first company for, uh, with products for before, during, and after exercise for sports nutrition. That was my biggest success, but it was also my biggest failure. The company should have been hundreds of millions, but because I didn't have CEO space at that time, um, we tried to figure everything out on our own. We tried to uh, get the resources we had, uh, which I've learned now, things that were avoided radically. Uh, it's not a commercial for CO space. It's just saying that having known how to save time and save money, uh, I'd be tremendously successful today because it took Gatorade 12 years with all their millions in research and development to catch up to what we were doing. Wow. Wow. So how did you become successful? Did you basically have a lot of good friends or wise business colleagues who navigate the challenges? I've always been a connector and uh, I never really knew how to monetize it until later on. Um, but in connecting, I would often be uh, put on teams, etc. I see. So what you're saying, which is really good for everyone to hear, is that by having connections, you're able to accelerate your business growth. Absolutely. And as, as it's been said many times, um, it was first said by a, a man by the name of Val Vandewal, who's one of the uh, early founding members of CEO Space, but uh, made famous by uh, Mark Victor Hansen, that your net wor worth is your network, or vice versa. Right, I've heard that. Your net worth is equal to your network, right? That's right. That's great. Well, you know, some people listening may not be aware of what CEO space is. And I remember when I first even heard the words, I thought you had to be invited to it. And uh, I was at an Alex Mondozian marketing seminar and I thought, wow, I wonder if I could get invited to CEO space. And it wasn't until years later that I found out that I could actually apply and actually attend without being invited first. So could you tell us a little bit about what CEO space is for those who don't know and what it's all about? Sure, and it still is private and by invite only. And uh, because of you, we'll go ahead and invite people to reach out and uh, if they would like to explore the possibility of CEO space. CEO space is the largest pay it forward network in the world for CEOs and entrepreneurs with hundreds of thousands of members in 144 countries ranked number one by both Forbes and Inc. as a must for our entrepreneur, a must resource. And we look for entrepreneurs that not only uh, are looking to grow their business, but know that they want access to the best mentors, the best resources, and the best environment in which to grow a business. And our promise is that we won't let the entrepreneur take a risk. We want to make it easier, not harder for an entrepreneur because it's already hard as an entrepreneur. But the promise is, is not to let them take a risk. We insist on making sure they get the building if for any reason they're not at all satisfied. And we even have Bob Proctor with red hair on television with Robin Leach back on Lost Lives saying it back then. So it was true then, it's still true today. And some of the stories that uh, people, success stories, the people know of that have come out of CEO space include Ugg Boots, Chicken Soup for the Soul. Uh, in fact, Mark and Jack actually met at CEO space. The title was invented there and uh, wow. all the early authors came from there. Airborne, wow. a great school teacher, and it just goes on and on and on. Wow, and tell us what, what age you have to be. I was impressed when I first went there to see some very young people as well. Well, we've had uh, some children grow up. Oh. Her sixth 
profitable and successful business. Her first uh, successful business was she was tree and a half, as she said. Uh, and we also have the number one team program in the world for the last 20 years. And uh, we have those that are in their 70s and 80s that are still going at it. One is the oldest uh, uh, person to summit all of the major mountain peaks. And he now he's turned that into a tour business. Uh, he is, uh, I believe, 80 years old. And we have uh, a woman that's in her 80s that also brings teens back to the teen program as part of her charity. Well, you know, there was a little sound glitch again, Dave. I'm sorry to say that the first person you mentioned, the young, young person, the three-year-old, could you say again who she is and how she just got involved? Yes, she uh, was raised at CEO Space. She's on her sixth profitable and successful business. She's eight years old now. She started when she is, in her words at that time, tree and a half. And her name? Her name is Neva Lee Rekla. That's great. Yeah, I met her too, and I'm looking forward to having another conversation. She even has her own talk show, doesn't she? She does, and she has a number of amazing guests on there and some big name celebrities in thought space. And uh, they see each other on her show and they fight to get on the show. Like, hey, my friend is on there. I want to get on there too. It's, That's it's great. Pretty That's impressive. Exactly. So that comes back to your saying of your net worth is your net 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 worth is your network. Can you Absolutely. just share, you know, there's a lot involved in building a business, as you know, you know, you're the master connector entrepreneur. Can you share your insider tips on how does an entrepreneur accelerate their business growth? What would you say is the most important things they need to know? Uh, the more most important, first and foremost, is, as we've been talking, is your network. But you need three things, really, that make a successful business. One is, it, or I'll give them all three out, it's the right plan, the right team, and the right resources to go all the way. Uh, you could have a plan, you could have resources, and you could have a team, but if they're not the right ones, then you're at a little bit of a disadvantage for yourself. It's got to be the right plan, the right team, and the right resources. Okay, so let's go into a little depth here about that. How do people get the right plan together, and how do they attract donors or investors into their business? Sure. Um, in order to attract investors, the most important thing is compliance. There are laws that are in place that there are a, there's a certain number uh, and each state is different. Most, you can approach up to five people. Um, others there, are, you're limited to three. And then also, if it doesn't matter how many you approach, if it's 100,000 or more, then you also have to uh, make sure you're registered as well. People say, well, I'm a private company, I'm not public. That doesn't matter. The Securities Exchange Commission looks at you as a security if you match those. And so uh, legal compliance is very important. Um, but sticking on the, the raising capital aspect is that their money is a language. And you must know the language of capital because it happens to be the language of business. Wow. That's important to know. So how does one communicate effectively or how would a you know, person, an entrepreneur know, entrepreneur know how much to even ask to attract the capital they need? It comes down to experts. You've got to be able to plug in. Unfortunately, a lot of people will go to attorneys and, uh, you know, bless attorneys. They do very well. Um, however, if they're not, uh, if they're not investment bankers, they're probably going to under underscore the needed amount, et cetera. There are resources out there, and CEO Space happens to be one of them, where you can find out exactly what it is that you're going to need, how much you're going to need for marketing, how much you're going to need for your legal, how much you're going to need for your team, and, and uh, if it's a product or a service, getting that to market as well. Wow, so, that's really invaluable. 
You know, um, I had interviewed someone else, um, Dave, who gets sponsors for her business projects. I wondered if you could just give us a comparison of the difference between attracting investors versus sponsors. What, you know, what's the difference and how do you assess which one you'd want to approach? Sure. Even though you've asked me for the differences, I'm going to start with similarities. Okay. Similarities are you need a very good plan. Two, you need contacts. You need to know with whom you're going to speak, who you're going to address, etc. Uh, sponsorship is a little bit different, uh, different because um, sponsorship, most people don't realize this, but everything about a sponsorship has a little bit of a weight to that. And those that are serious on the sponsorship level, if you're going after large corporations, they know, uh, you know how much an imprint is for their name to be on the back of a ticket. They know mm -hmm. that that's you know, a quarter of a cent, et cetera. And they'll know that if you're on a billboard, if you're in television, how much weight that carries, what is your audience, et cetera. And all of these are factored. There's a, a group called the International Events Group. It's one of the best I know that evaluates sponsors. It's sponsored, uh, sponsor.com or sponsorship.com is uh, the International Events Group. They're, they're the best at what they do. Um, once you have the, the figures, the facts and figures, you need to have that in a very good presentation. Same as raising capital. You have to have a very good presentation. Sponsors are also looking for return on investment. I'll shorten it as ROI, mm -hmm. whether raising capital uh, for, for your business or you're raising sponsorship dollars. You need to know your ROI because they want to know, even if it's a donation, they want to know how they're going to get their money back. And then you also want to know how to speak to the money. You don't want to just speak about the wonderful things that your, your project or event might, uh, might do. You want to be able to talk to the money because money has intelligence as well. Sure. So you really need a lot of different components to understand before you can go out there and speak to investors or donors or, or sponsors. Um, do you provide that at CEO Space? Can you Absolutely. kind of share what you do? Yeah, CEO Space practice drills and rehearses you in doing so because the bottom line is you only get one shot. It doesn't matter if capital or if you got that you want on the, the shelves at Walmart. You get one shot and you've got to impress. You got to knock it out of the park. It's unlike uh, unlike Major League Baseball, where you get many opportunities to go up there and you only need to be 30% uh, percent successful to make it to the Hall of Fame. With entrepreneurship, you get one shot to present, whether it's uh, Walmart or uh, Target, any store you want to go into. If you're raising capital, if you're in front of investors, you've got one shot to be able to do that as well. Wow. Well, I'm going to ask you if you could condense in like a summary, what would make an impressive presentation? Because I know you've done many, many ones. So if someone wants to get their one shot out in the best way possible, what would a, what would a proposal look like that would be appealing to an investor? I'm going to start with the three C's, and that's being very crisp, very clear, and very concise. You want to be all three of those things with your message so as not to confuse. The other thing you want to do is you, you must know your numbers. Um, you don't have to be a mathematician, but you do need to know your, your numbers, and you do need to know your marketplace. And then, of course, be personable. Um, speak to the person, speak to the money, and be able to address that. Wow. So it sounds like you really need to know a lot of factors. And so how does CEO space then support an entrepreneur in understanding all those components? CEO space uh, supports that because we walk you through every step of the way. Plus, you've got an array of experts that are there with their expertise and they're normally experts that we couldn't uh, access. And if we could access them, we might not be able to afford them. 
or if we could afford them, we might not be able to to uh, access them. So it brings a pool of people together that are willing to help you get your desired outcome. You know, I, I know you're absolutely right. In fact, I would like you to just say, what is the difference between the networking at CEO space versus if you were to go to some other networking group? Because there's something that stands out that I noticed right away. I'd like you to share it with our audience. Sure, and, and that's cooperation and cooperation versus competition. When I say competition, there are a couple of uh, examples I could use. If we were aliens and we landed on this planet and we went to a typical networking environment, it would look like earthlings trying to stab each other with their business cards, trying to win business. At CO Space, it's collaborative and it's helping each other. What are you working on and how may I serve you? So you're approaching them with the intent of, of serving them. And let's say, uh, I'm guessing that most of the listeners uh, that you have here, the viewers, they have probably 1,000 to 2,000 contacts in their phone. But let's reduce it to 200 for simple math sake. And let's say there's only 200 people in a room. And if they're cooperative then you got 200 times 200, that's 40,000 people they're networking with because you're not just connecting with the, who they are, who's in the room, it's who they know. And uh -huh. the magic of that is, is pretty amazing and that's why things go much faster at CEO Space. The other thing I'll say about cooperation is a competitive mind would say, you know what I just met, I just, I have this high powered contact, but because we do just met, I don't trust you yet, so I'm going to keep that contact to myself. A cooperative mind says, you know what, I have this contact, I don't know if it's a fit or not, but far be it from me to decide, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect you, the two of you decide whether it's a fit or not, and certainly do your own due diligence before you uh, decide to go further in your business. And that, it brings in the magic of the human spirit that helps make things go faster, farther. That's beautiful. And that's what I noticed too. There were so many people there who genuinely came from a space of caring. And tell us about how long the membership lasts because that's also an interesting point about CEO space. That's what blew me away. It's a membership for a lifetime. You pay once and you have access for the rest of your life, up to five times per year, every March, May, July, October, December, every year. And you have the weekends uh, from Thursday afternoon through the weekend for a lifetime. And then they, what CEO Space does is they include one full week where you can attend the entire Tuesday through Saturday. And they'll even include your afternoon and your evening meals from Tuesday through Friday. That's great. And families can come. That's what I think is also really special. It doesn't have to be just you. You can bring a spouse or child. There is one coming up very soon. So I, I don't want to be negligent to have you at least share with us what's coming up soon and what your involvement will be for that. Sure. The largest of the year is always our summer program because the kids are out of school. It's the number one team program in the world. So the, the truly business elite will load up their, their jets and bring their whole family, but everybody brings their family, whether it's a jet or a station wagon uh, or just getting on a, an airplane. A lot of people bring their families because uh, the parents uh, or the grandparents know that the children are going to be in a great learning environment around people that they can trust that are, uh, you know, great backgrounds, etc. We screen people for being a uh, pay it forward mindset. And then uh, people come from all over the world for the summer program. And uh, the others are also very, very good. And each one is unique in its own way. And I would like to, uh, uh, through you, invite all of your uh, viewers and listeners to inquire about hey, what is this CEO space? They can let us know what their business is, what it is, the resources that they need to get from where they are now to where they want to go. And then uh, 
I can, with that, I can figure out, okay, this information would pertain to them. Their CO space is so vast. But I don't like to just throw the, the fire hydrant at them, give them right. a little up to say, okay, this is what's applicable for your business. Would you like to take a deeper dive? And if it makes sense, we'll do that. And the neat thing is, is some of the most successful uh, stories from CEO space couldn't afford us. We showed them how mm -hmm. to raise the capital, how to get there. And then they learn how to raise the larger dollars when they're there. They have the contacts they need. Uh, everything that a business could ever want is within the walls of CEO space. Oh, that's fantastic. Roland wants to share some information here. So I'm going to turn it over to Roland and he is sharing your quotes, which is really great. Money has intelligence. You never really think about that, do you? Would you want to just share a little bit, Dave, elaborate on that quote that you gave earlier? A good example is, is before the 2008 turndown, it, money was silly. It was going everywhere. But the money got smarter because people weren't being mindful of their money. So there's more money available for business and ideas now than any other time. The money didn't leave the planet. It just got smarter. Money has intelligence. So money's looking for opportunity. Money is looking for responsibility. And money is looking for uh, unique ways to make a difference as well. Um, at CEO Space, we have all of those combined. Not all money's looking to make a difference, but uh, it's neat that there is a segment of, of people that are. Great. I love what you just said. You know, we're coming to the close of our program, and I would like you to share. Oh, you got one more quote. I'm going to share the, the gift that you're going to give. But, Roland, we're going to turn to you again. Ah, the three C's that we need in a proposal, crisp, clear, and concise. You know, I want to just ask you one more question on that before we, we close. What would be a concise proposal? I would, can you give us some idea of the length or, you know, what you feel is sufficient for someone to attract interest from an investor sure what's important is 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 i was going to say what's important is crisp clear and concise but that's what we're talking about so i'll give an example of how to be crisp clear and concise and i'll do it i'm going to simplify it and just for networking because some people may not be at a place where they're making proposals yet and there's a lot that goes into that but just in networking you don't want to go into the story about your business and the history of when you were three and your uncle backed over your turtle and that really <laughs> you. And then when you were seven, he backed over your bicycle and it, the receiver has no idea of what's going on, you know, what it has to do with your business. If you simply say what my business is or what I'm working on is or what my project is, and the resources I seek are, let me plug that in, and never use capital, by the way. Speak to what you would use the capital for if you already had it. And I'll share a little bit about that. Uh, mm. you have time yeah. And then ask the question, uh, who do you know? In other words, you don't want to say to them and put them on the spot, because they may not be able to, or they just don't, or it's not in their realm. It, but if you say, who do you know, it opens a whole world of possibility for them. That's, that's really important because I think people are just thinking, I need money, but the investor doesn't want to know that you need money. They want to know exactly what will it go towards. Well, so here, investors hear that all the time anyway. So you just sound like, oh, here's another one of them. But you can use that to your advantage by saying, yes, what I seek next is this and this is, you know, I've got production, I need to match orders, et cetera. Well, if you get the investor, investors have ego, if you get them to ask you, well, do you need capital for that? You've got them because now when you have their interest, you've massaged their ego and they're coming to you. So that plays into your favor very strongly. Great. 
Well, are some terrific gifts for everyone here. And we're going to turn to the slide that shares your gifts. And also, I want to just make sure everyone knows that if they want to investigate and look into the next CEO Space session, it's coming up July 16th through the 21st, coming up very soon in Florida. Right, Dave? Absolutely. And the neat thing is, if they can't make that, they've already got plans for uh, for summer, et cetera, vacation. There's one just 60 days away after that. So we're, we're, we've been there for 30 years. We'll be there for a lot more. And it's just one after another five times a year. And uh, uniquely spaced so uh, and this also came out of ceo space someone can work on their business instead of always working in it great great it's, it is valuable to have the context definitely and so this is what you're going to get today from dave if you go to this website welcome.ceospaceinternational.com forward slash dp you're going to get, Dave, you want to tell us what you're going to get for that? It's a it's something that they can use right away in their marketing. It's a very powerful tool. It's uh, pretty unique, and the value in that would bring someone tens of thousands of dollars if they use that, and anyone here is welcome to use that, whether they choose CEO space or not. Uh, but I think that they'll find that just the value they get from that, gosh, what would I get uh, if I were a member? Definitely. And then you also offered something else. So we'll turn to the next slide rolling for us. If you want to learn more about Dave or even have a, a brief consultation with him, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, I, you had offered this was very kind. You can go to entrepreneursbestfriend.com to learn about Dave. And there's another site refer.com and, and what can they do there Dave well to give a little plug for my friends at refer.com it's the largest referral network in in the world uh, it's an online platform but what I will offer people is I'll explore their business find out what where their growth points are uh, maybe they're stuck in a place and they know that they can get to the next level but they just don't know how or they've been in a rut for a while or Maybe they're just starting out and they are going, they want to be able to grow with velocity and strength. You never say no to growth. Uh, there's a misnomer out there. Oh, we don't want to grow too fast. Um, most successful people will say that's nonsense. The only reason that you wouldn't want to grow too fast is because you don't have the tools and resources to know how to uh, capture th that acceleration. That's so well said. So you're going to be able to learn how to capture that acceleration through the information Dave's going to give you right here, as well as um, being able to speak with him, which is a real privilege and pleasure. I've already had a chance to have a brief private call with him, and he's absolutely terrific. I'm so grateful. So before we have our final slide, Dave, one last question. What's the most important thing you'd like people to remember from this call conversation today? I'm gonna say that it's not from this conversation today, but it's in general, that if you treat people with kindness, if you're very sincere, and if you're willing to give, you'll be able to receive, and that will take you, those things combined will take you so much further in life than anything, and all your dreams will come true. Well, that's beautiful. If you're willing to give, you'll be able to receive. That's beautiful. So everyone, I want you to go forth. Let's turn to our last slide and go forth in abundance and joy because you've got great people right right all around you and right here who can help you move forward. To, to learn more and get more interviews, I invite you to subscribe at the differencemakersmedia.com website. You can get a free story guide from me on the home page. And if you want to hear more interviews, just go to our Our Show tab on the website, differencemakersmedia.com. So thank you again, both Dave and Roland, it's been a great pleasure to have you here, and I want all of you to know that you can do whatever you decide you want to do in life because the people are out there for you. All you have to do is reach out, and Dave is here as well. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.